Hello everyone, hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. I officially want to welcome you guys. I'm full. Sorry. <laughs> I officially want to welcome you guys to today's um, video, live video, live broadcast. Thank you for coming, thank you for coming. Um, how have you guys been? I'm sure great. We thank the Lord. So um, before we do anything, I'd like to quickly pray. Please join me. Lord, I want to thank you for today. I just want to give you praise and magnify your name and say thank you, God, for making this possible. I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all adoration, God. Thank you for today, God. Thank you. Thank you. I ask that you have mercy upon us, oh God. As we've come to hear from you today, as we've come to do that which you have called us to do, which is to pray for your people, God, to intercede for your people, God. Father, Lord, as we've come today, oh God, once again, to do that which you have called us to do, God. We ask, oh God, that our prayers will achieve that which you wanted to achieve, oh God. Father, may I not speak what you have not asked me to speak. May I not do what you haven't asked me to do. Father, Lord, help me. Hey, Holy, Holy Spirit, enable me, empower me to do that will, oh God. Because that is all that matters, your will. It's all about you, God. So I officially open this broadcast in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. <laughs> um, um, I want to welcome you guys. Hey, Sherry. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about going through the fire briefly before we start praying. Because that was something that the Spirit of the Lord laid in my, in my spirit um, a while ago. Now, um, you know, sometimes you go through situations and you think that you have come to that place where you can't even take one more step. Like you are done. You don't have anything else left to give. Like you've given everything that you have and there is nothing left. God is saying to you that when you get to that point where... You don't even know what you're going to do next. That is when it comes. That's when his strength comes. Because, you know, I, I hear this Bible, uh, there's this Bible portion that says that, you know, our weakness, that's when it's strongest. I didn't really understand, I didn't really understand what I meant, you know. But I say it anyways. I say, God, you said when I am weak, you are strong, you know, and all that. But recently, especially today, I got to understand what that actually meant. You know, when you're at that point where you think that you can't even do anything, like you are done, it's done for you, you know, it, 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 it just comes to envelope you and strengthen you. Sometimes it might be through somebody, you know, you might speak to somebody or somebody might just pray with you or, you know, you just feel some sort of sensation in your body at that point where you just know that you can take one more step, you know. You can take one more step. And then before you know it, you're back on track. You know, before you know it, you're walking again. Even though just a few minutes ago, you thought that you have hit rock bottom. You thought that you cannot even go further. You thought that this is it for me. So while he was saying this to me, I wrote some things down that he was saying to me, you know. He said that once you accept God as your Lord, once, you, once you're born again and you accept the Lord as your personal, your Lord and personal Savior, instantly there's a protective cover around you, over you rather. It covers you completely so the enemy cannot even come near you. The enemy cannot even um, penetrate that covering. Now, there are times God will call the enemy and say, come, you know, and do what you want to do. To this child of mine just like it happened with Job, you know and God will be watching he's watching because at that point when you're going through what you're going through when the enemy is unleashing all that he has upon you 
God is actually fortifying you, He's actually working on you, He's actually molding you, you know, molding you, making you be the person that, you know, He wants you to be. It's just like, um, so it brought to my spirit about gold, you know, before the gold becomes what it is, it has to go through fire, it has to, you know, it has, it has to be refined with very hot fire very hot eat for it to get to where it wants to go for it to be what you want it to be so that's the same thing you know when god is taking you somewhere he allows you he allow you allow you go through certain situation this situation is not to kill you it's not to break you it's not to you know to damage you but it's actually to mold you and you know bring you to that place where he wants you to be and in the course of certain, certain things that have happened, I've come to understand that that's how God does it. That's how he does his work, you know. So if you are at that place where you think that, you know, you are done, like you can't go on anymore, like you have given everything, you have prayed all the prayers that you know how to pray, you have done everything that you can do, and then it seems like God is not even listening, it seems like God is not even there, it seems like God is not even hearing what you're saying. What he's saying to you is that even in that moment, that he wants you to do now is right there. He's right there. He's strengthening you. He's giving you the grace to move on. You know, so I just want to encourage us, no matter what it is that we're going through, no matter what it is that is happening in your life right now, I just want you to know that God is there and he's going to take you to that place that he wants you to be. There is no way you're going to stop halfway. It's not possible. It's not possible. For the fact that God, God's, God's hand is upon you, for the fact that God is involved in that situation, you cannot be stopped halfway. You know, so you just need to keep pushing and you just need to keep pushing and you just need to keep pushing. Even though sometimes it feels like you can't even do it anymore. You know, I came to also understand something that the people that commit suicide, they don't really have an option. You know, they don't think about it. They don't. You don't. It doesn't. It, it's not something that they they meditate over, or it's not something that they lay back and process, and you know, start to and, and weigh both the pros and cons and all that. No, they don't do that. It's a spirit that the enemy sends to you, and then once it comes, the next thing you're thinking about is, what's the easiest way to do this? How do I just do this and get it over with and done with and just forget about it? You know, that's the only thing you're thinking about. You're not thinking about the people it's going to affect. You're not thinking about what it's going to cost, you know, your, your friends, your family. You're not thinking about how God will feel at that point. At that point, you're just, thinking of, you're just thinking of the easiest way to get out of the situation, you know. And that's the enemy's way. And if you're not, if you can be strong because at that point, you're really weak. So it only takes the grace of God for you to get out of that situation. It takes the grace of God for you to move from that place to another place where you can say, oh, okay, I can live one more day. Okay, I can put one more, I can put one more effort. You know what I mean? So if you get to that place where you think that you can go on anymore, where you think that everything is at a standstill, I just want to encourage you to know that God is there even in that moment. In that moment where you think that it is done, God is there with you, you know? So just be encouraged and know that he would never forsake you. He would never, ever forsake you. He would never forsake you. He will always, always make a way. Any which way he's going to make a way. That's one thing that you need to understand. But at the same time, you also have to understand that you have to come. God is not somebody that you can have a relationship that is convenient. Like, I, I don't know if that's the word to use. You can't have a convenient relationship with God where it's only when He pleases you or when you want something that you're going to go to God and, and believe that God is going to do what He's going to do. No. You have to, you have to come to that place where you say, God, whatever may come my way, you are all that I have. You are all that I know. You are all that I hold on to. You are all that I believe in. You are everything to me. You are all that matters to me. You know what I mean? We have to get, we have to come to that place. Because when you, when you get to that place, that's when you're actually letting go and allowing him to do the thing that, you know, he wants, the thing that he wants to do. But most times we restrict God, we limit God because, you know, we, we trust God. It's not like we don't trust him. We trust him. We have faith in him. But, you know, our faith level is limited or our trust level is limited because we believe that 
when it's not going the way that we want it to go and then you start to question you start to wonder you are worried you're you know like god is this really you are you really hearing me are you there you know and all that and all that and all that you start to question your faith you start to question your faith and then when you start to question your faith god will just look at you and smile because he understands that as human you have emotions and sometimes uh, most times actually our emotions just take over everything we don't even think at that point you know and we will be looking at you and be smiling because he knows that that thing that you think that is going to swallow you up that thing that you think that is going to destroy you he knows that that's not going to happen you know so but you don't know even though you have faith in god you don't know that this will pass too even this will pass you don't know that it's not going to take over your life you don't you don't know that it's not going to you know completely envelop you or swallow you up or whatever it is you don't know that but god knows that you know so he's silent and he's looking at you and you're struggling 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 and it's like it's not happening but like i said he will always send help one way or the other if he doesn't send it through somebody you know it's going to it's going to he's going to take you from a place where you are which is where you can even move to a place where you just see yourself either praying or praising or worshiping or doing whatever thing that you you know you have got to do you know what i mean it will empower you and it will strengthen you and that's that's the thing about god when you least expect it when you think that it is over that is when he steps into the situation so it's not what you know i'm stressing over but i understand that you're human and then you need Sometimes you just need a quick answer. Sometimes you just want to get it over with. You just want to say, God, I just want this thing done once and for all. And then let me just move on with my life. But God is saying to you that it's a process. And you've got to go through that process. You know, there's no, there's no shortcut. You have to go through that process. And then when it gets to the end of that process, you will see His glory. In other words, what he's saying is that in your pain, there is glory. In your pain, there is glory. So anytime you go through pain, just have this thing in your mindset that this thing that I'm going through, this pain that I'm going through, there is glory at the end of it. You know, so that would help you. That would move you. That would you know, just keep you going. Yeah, refiner's fire, exactly. You know, so... I just want to encourage you and thank everybody that's online and you know whatever the situation is just believe God and just have faith and just know that he is there no matter how it seems no matter how it turns out just know that you know he's there for you so I would like us to pray now because that's what we're called to do to pray right so I want us to pray I just wanted to encourage somebody with that Lord, I thank you. I glorify you and I give you praise. I magnify your holy name because I know that you are God. I thank you because I know that you are the Alpha, you are the Omega. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm praying and he keeps saying that that's not what I want you to say. You've not said what I want you to say. And I know what he wants me to say, but I just feel like this is not what I would like to say. But, you know, it's not about me, it's about him and I just hope that this is this is gonna achieve what he wants it to achieve. I'm actually ashamed to say this. That's why I didn't want to say it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Okay, so last Wednesday when we were here, after we finished praying, I said, God, give us a testimony that you know we'll all you know know that this is you. And you know, when I was saying it, I was thinking that God was going to do something, maybe favor me financially, or maybe, you know, just do something that I've been wanting him to do for me. 
but you know um, there are times when you can just um, there are times when what you expect excuse me there are times when you expect something and that's not how it turns out so what happened to me was um, on Saturday and on Sunday the enemy came so strong excuse me I'm sorry. So, um, Saturday and Sunday, the enemy came so strong. Why I couldn't really say was because, I mean, if I'm here talking to you about what God can do, and then at the same time, I'm also having my own challenges, then it's pointless. You know, like, you feel like, what's she even saying? But when I was praying, he kept saying, that's not what I want you to say. So, I guess I just have to say it. So on Saturday, something happened. The enemy came so strong and somehow I was able to overcome it. But, you know, it, it, it brought me to a place where I didn't want to, I, it brought me to a place that I thought I have left, a place that I thought I have passed. Like I never even imagined that I would, I would find myself in that place again. Then on Sunday, the same situation happened, but this time it was worse. It was terrible. It was... You know, I just couldn't move anymore. I just felt that I've come to my end. I felt like this was it for me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm done, God. Whatever you want to happen, let it happen. And I was walking on the road and I was crying. I'm naturally the kind of person that before I leave my house, I like to make sure that I look good. I'm not, like, I don't like to be seen, you know, tattered or anything. But that particular day, I was walking on the road and I was crying. I was crying so loud and I was saying, God, what have I done? Like, when with this end, I was just crying and crying. And a lady saw me. She was driving. I was on this side of the road. And then she was on the other side of the road. And then she saw me and she asked, she stopped. She said, are you okay? Are you okay? I couldn't even say anything to her because at that point, I felt like I was, I was done. I felt like this was it for me. I can't go on anymore. The lady had to go around, turn around, and then she came to me, and then she parked right beside me, and she was like, what's going on? Whatever thing that is going on with you, I want you to know that God loves you, and that, you know, it's not the end of the world, whatever it is, but I don't know what it is, but can I just pray with you? And then she held my hands, and this lady started praying, and all I could do was cry. I was crying, I was crying, I was crying, I was crying, I was saying, God, why would you even do this to me? How can I even pray for others when I have my own stuff, my own stuff going on? How can you ask me to come and pray for others when I'm dying inside of me? And the only thing I could hear the Lord say to me was, what you're going through is very little compared to what others are going through. So it is not about you, it is not about, it's not about what you're going through, it's about other people, it's about others, it's not about self. He said, see, what you're going through is so small. If people are going through what you're going through right now, they will be glad. You don't even want to be in the shoes of some other people that are going through certain situations. So stop asking why and just do what you're supposed to do. And but at that point, it didn't make any sense to me because that wasn't what I wanted to hear. I was just crying. But while I was crying, I was also praising. You know, like I'll be crying and then this song will come into my, into my spirit and I'll start singing and I'll sing maybe a line or two and then I'll start crying and I was walking on this road like a crazy person and I was saying, God, I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know what I need to do. But at this point, whatever that you want, let your will be done. Like I'm just, I can't go on anymore. And then while I was saying this and I was walking and I was crying and I didn't even know I was, I was in the middle of the road, I was in the middle of the road rather, and then I heard this car on, it was so loud, and that's when, you know, I just checked and I turned around, the car was right behind me, and then I moved, and then another man in his car now packed in and said, young lady, whatever thing that is going on, just be careful, you know, and at that point, I just realized that I could have died. I could have died because I was so consumed with what was happening to me that I didn't even know, I didn't even know that I was actually playing right into the hands of the enemy. So I turned around and I started walking back home. 
and I walked back home. I was so drained and spent and tired. And then when I got home, I just tried to shower and then see if I could sleep. I couldn't even sleep, so I had to even take a sleeping pill for me to sleep. And this is something that I've not done in a while. Yes, I used to do it because you know there were times when I couldn't really sleep because I had so much. The enemy was fighting me so much. The enemy was fighting me with all that he had, and I was fighting and I was fighting. And I, you know, I got to the place where I felt that the only way I couldn't sleep. I got to the place where I felt I couldn't sleep, and I didn't even feel. I just couldn't sleep. Like I'm awake all night. I'm awake all night. So I, I start taking sleeping pills or painkillers just to help me sleep. And then he will walk for a while and after some time he stops, you know, and for, 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 for some weeks I had rest. So I thought that it was past. I thought that, okay, God has finally answered my prayer. I thought that, okay, it's done. Okay, now I'm, I'm doing his will. Now I'm doing that thing that he has asked me to do. So he has finally taken it away from me. But I didn't know that you know that was just the beginning like the enemy had more things that he had in store for me and over the weekend when the situation happened and I came back home I took the sleeping pill I, I couldn't even sleep I laid on my bed and I was thinking and I said God I thought this has passed I thought you have taken this away from me and then the truth is that like I said it's a process until the process is complete you know you can't you can't um until the process is complete you can't relent or you can't relax or you can't have that rest i know people will say oh because you're a believer you should speak the word and then you know they, they make it seem like once you speak the word it happens instantly maybe to some people i don't know but it doesn't happen like that to me so if you even though you're praying and praying for a particular situation and you see that it it, it, you're praying, praying for a particular situation and then you see that okay it's beginning to you know fade off or you're beginning to find rest and then you think okay God has finally answered my prayer so let me rest no you can't rest because the enemy still has more things in store especially if the process is not complete so you have to keep pushing and keep praying and keep believing and just you know just keep doing what you've got to do and believe in God that, you know, it's, it's going to come true for you. Like it came true for me. It came true for me. Even this morning. Yesterday, I told myself that, God, at this point, whatever it is, let your will be done. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to relax and see what you're going to do. But when I woke up this morning, I didn't really... I had something that brought me back to where I was before, you know, and he made a way, he made a way, and I'm here today to even do this video, I never thought I would be able to do it, I never thought that I could do this, I, I just felt that if I miss one day, it's not a big deal, but I'm here to talk about it. So. There is really nothing that you're going through that is so much because if God shows you the, the if God shows you what other people are going through, you might think that yours is way way more than you know what others are going through. But there are people that are going through even worse situation that you are going through. You know, so just use that to console yourself and know that it could be worse. I think that's the word. It could be worse. It could be worse. You know, so if you, if you can pray for others, even though you're going through your own pain or you're going through your own situation, I, I think that's 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 like the height of it. That's something that's something really honorable to do. So even though I don't feel like it, even though I feel like the I, I feel like I'm trying to stay above the water, I feel like you know it's too much for me. I still have got to come here and pray. For others because that's what he has called me to do you know so I don't know who I'm talking to but this actually happened to me the same me that is talking to you right now it happened to me I'm even I'm, I, I couldn't I cannot even say it exactly the way it happened because it's gonna take like forever I'm trying to cut it so you know we still have time to do what we've got to do so if you're in that same situation right now I want you to understand that God is still there 
you know and if you can pray for somebody else even though you're going through that pain or that that process if you can pray for somebody else please just pay, just pray for another person you know pay forward because when you're praying for somebody else god is actually also working on you too you know so whatever the situation is please just know that it's not the end of the world just know that there is hope just know that god is there just know that you're going to overcome it at the right time keep speaking the word and keep praying and keep believing that's all that you can do because truly there is nothing else you can do all you can do is just believe pray and speak the word that's all that you can do even though it doesn't seem like it's working to you but it's actually working god is in the background doing what he's doing you know like it's a plan that he needs to work out so while he's working out a plan you'll be going through what you're going through at that point just keep speaking the word and just keep praying and just keep believing and just keep fighting and just keep saying god i know you have got me god i know that no matter how we sing I, I know that you will do what only you can do in my life and i'm telling you there's nothing you can conquer there's nothing you can conquer you know even if it's a spirit of suicide you can conquer it i'm telling you the truth even if it's a spirit of rejection you can conquer it just keep saying it just keep saying and just keep believing it that's all that you need to do you know so I just want to thank God that my testimony even though it wasn't the way that I wanted it to be it was it was great it was great because the enemy came to destroy me you know but he saved me he saved me that's a huge testimony I might not be here right now only God knows where I will be right now. Only God knows what would have happened to me on Sunday. Only God knows. Only God knows. I don't even want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. But only God knows where I would have been by now if it's not for His grace. You know, so it's a huge testimony, even though I didn't want to give it because I was ashamed. But God saved me yet again. And I just want to thank him and glorify his name for, for finding me worthy, you know, for, for seeing me as a person that is, that he, he can say, that for saving me over time, you know, over time, over time, over time. It's not just once, over time. I just want to thank him for finding me worthy. I just want to thank him for finding me worthy. You know, so that being said, <laughs> I just want us to pray and keep doing what we can do. That's, 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 that's all we can do. There's nothing else we can do. You know, all we can do is just pray and believe and have faith that he's going to do what only he can do in our lives. So, Father, I just want to thank you and exalt you. And also, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share what you have done. And I pray that whatever that is going through, what they're going through, that you will do the same thing that you did for me, for them. I pray that you would heal their hearts, you will touch them, you will turn their situations around, you will do that which only you can do in their life. Because the truth is that you are the only one who can do it, God. It is only you that can do it. There's no other person that can do it. Just you, Jehovah. That you are the only one that can do it. You are all that matters, God. And teach us how to put you before everything that we do. Teach us how to, to love you enough to just say that no matter what comes my way, I know that you have got me and stand on that and not waver. Strengthen us, O oh God. Strengthen us, O oh God. Father, I just want to exalt you and give you praise. I just want to magnify your name because I know that you are the ancient of days. You are the I am that I am. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the omnipotent God. You are the omnipresent God. You are the omnipresent God. You are God all by yourself. There is no God except you, God. You are a consuming fire. You are the lifter up of our heads, oh God. You are our deliverer. You are our source. Because without you, we are done. We are nothing. We are finished, God. 
I just want to thank you because I know that you are a protector. I know that you are there for us every step of the way. I know that you change it not. I know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. I know that you have the final say. You have the final say, God. Your word says, you will speak a thing and will come to pass when you, Lord, you have not spoken. So we know that there is nothing that the enemy will throw at us. There is nothing that the enemy will do that will come to pass in our lives if you've not spoken, if you've not allowed it. I pray that you continue to strengthen each and every one of us, wherever we are, God, and make us, you know, stand firm with you in faith. And believe that no matter what we see, that's not our reality. That's not our reality. The enemy might show us different things, but that's not our reality. I pray that you touch our hearts, O oh God. I pray that you mend our hearts, O oh God. I pray that you go to the deep places, O oh God, and begin to heal us. And begin to restore in the name of Jesus. Father, whoever that needs your touch right now, wherever the person is concerning any situation, God, I pray that may your hand come upon that person now in the name of Jesus. Father, wherever that person is, oh God, that needs your love, that needs to just know that you are there for them, God. I pray that you will do that which only you can do by letting them know that you are there. By letting them know that they are not alone. By letting them know that you see it all and you know it all. By letting them know that there is nothing to be ashamed of. That there is nothing to be ashamed of. That even in that pain, there is glory. Father, help us not to be selfish when it comes to you, God. Help us not to be selfish when it comes to you, God. Teach us your way, O oh God. Teach us your ways, O oh God. Teach us your ways, O oh God. Teach us your ways, O oh God. Help us, God. Help us, God. Begin to do that which only you can do, God. In the lives of your people, O oh God. Begin to do that which only you can do, God. Ma yasu kas ma he su hiya ma su gaze ma hama sa hiya ma he kase ma su i kase ma hiya ma su hiye le kase ma hama sa gaze hi ma se kase hiye le kase ma ha mo hiya kasa le kase hi ma he ma su he kasa ma he ma ha mo hiya de su hiya sa gaze hiye le su he kase ma hi ma su hi ma sa hiye le kase ma hama sa hiya ma he kasa le kase ma hi mo su hi le kase ma ha ma hiye le su he ma su a gaze hi le kase hi ma he ma ma su ha ma ha me he kase ma Mahi lele kusu he maha kasa mahi lele kusu mahi maha mohi esu makasa he lele kase mahi musu he maha lele kase mahu asu he mahi mohi ya kasa mahi se se mahu kasa mu i kase he lele kusu mahi maha asu hamahi 
I have come to preach hope. I have come to preach hope. I just want you to know that there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. And that's if you believe in God. So if you don't know God, use this opportunity and invite him into your life and say, God, I don't know you, but I've heard of your good works. And I just want to have a relationship with you. I want to accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Invite him into your life and let him begin to do that which only him can do. Invite him into your life. Ask for his mercy. Ask for his mercy. Ask for his mercy. Ask for his mercy. In the name of Jesus. Masu akasama ie kasema umasu hiala. Ma ie kasema isu ie kasema amasu hilele kasume himazu hamasahi. Ma he kasema hilele kasume himasu agazama se ie le kasu amasu ia samasu ie kasema. Ma ia su akase hilele kasu himase hie kasamu oe kase hia suhi. Ma hakasa hilele kasu hima hima su hima sa hia kasama hilele kasu me hima. Mo hia kasama su hila se hima su hi kasema hima. Mo hia kasema hi kasu hima hima akasa hilele kasu me hima. Mo hia kasa hi kasu hima hima su hama. Don't just look at people and think that they've got it all together and that yours, your life is the only thing that is in shambles. No, don't. Because a lot of us that you might see that it might seem like everything is going so smoothly and this person is this and this person is that. Behind closed doors, it's a completely different story. So don't condemn yourself. Don't think that your, your, your situation or whatever thing that you're going through is happening to you because you did something or because you are worse. No. People are going through worse things. But they are still pushing and still fighting and still believing that God is going to step in at the right time because that is what He does. He steps in at the right time. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Just keep pushing and keep believing that he has done that which you want him to do. Even though it doesn't seem like it, just believe that. Just believe that. But I want to thank you for the lives that you have touched. I want to thank you for the lives that you have touched, God. I want to thank you for the lives that you have touched, God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so like I said, it's about God and it is how it leads. I'm not going to say what He asked me to say or do what He, didn't, what he hasn't asked me to do. So this is how today's own is. I don't know, but... I want to thank you all for watching and praying and I want to encourage us all to continue to pray and have faith, put others in prayers, you know, whether we know them or we don't know them, just, you know, whenever you're praying, just pray for others as well because your, your little prayer can go a long way. Your little prayer can help save the life of somebody, you know, so. Thank you all for joining us today and I pray that you have a very, very blessed week.
and I hope to see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Oh.